that has served as a congressman and a governor who is running for president of the United States. He's former governor of Louisiana, Buddy Romer. He's been retired from politics for 16 years. His issue is jobs. Can you say jobs? That's what we're all concerned about. He's a father, a grandfather, and when I asked him how he'd like me to introduce him, he told me something that I, th that I love and I think you'll like it too. He's old enough to know what to do and young enough to do it. Please give a warm round of applause to Governor Buddy Romer. Okay. Got it. Uh, thank you, Amy. You gave that just like I wrote it, and I really appreciate it. Uh, you can tell that I'm from southern New Hampshire. I've, I've worked on the accents. I'm not there yet, but I'm working on it, gang. I have an apartment in Manchester, so uh, I feel like I'm running for governor of New Hampshire, really. That's the way I'm taking it. There's an issue in this campaign that goes beyond party or color or religious creed. It gets to the heart of what America is. We've become a nation that doesn't work. We've become a nation that's lost a million and a half jobs in the last 12 years. We've become a nation where two-thirds of the people that worked in manufacturing no longer have a job. Now to me, it doesn't come down to scrubbing the budget or changing the tax code. They need to be done. I've done them both as a congressman and a governor. But for 20 years, I've been out in the real world, building jobs, small community banks. And I know America's in trouble. And I know we can do better. I don't take big checks. I don't take PAC money. I don't take super PAC money. I am free to lead. And I'll tell you where I'll start. I'll start with the unfair trade that comes from China. I'm very specific. I've been to China many times. I represent American companies, small companies, in Louisiana and Texas, trying to do business in the global trade. And the competition is unfair. They manipulate their currency. They have hidden impediments. They use child labor. They use prison labor. They use forced labor. They have no standards for safety or health. How do you like losing two and a half million jobs to a country that trades unfairly? I'll stop it and I'll tell you how. And nobody else running for president will talk about it. We have a foreign tax credit in this country where a multinational corporation can make billions of dollars and charge off the taxes they pay in China against taxes they owe in the United States. We're the only nation on earth that pays companies to send jobs overseas. It's not right and it ought to be stopped. Look, thank you. Come with me across New Hampshire. Walk with me across South Carolina. I'm the only guy running who hadn't been in politics all of his life. I'm the only guy running who's done both jobs, congressman and governor. I'm the only guy running who doesn't take the big checks. Who do you want to lead? I think we want somebody free to lead. I stake my claim in New Hampshire. Live free or die. I'm not fancy. I don't have big bucks. I've collected money from all 50 states. Last week was my biggest week. I collected $35,600, $100 at a time. You know how much money that was? That was enough to buy one ticket to an Obama fundraiser. One ticket. You know what's wrong with American politics? It's bought and sold. 
We have candidates running in the Republican Party who took a million dollar check and tried to hide it. We have candidates in the Republican Party just like the Democrat president who have super PACs. They own Washington, D.C. You know who, how to follow what somebody works for? You know how to tell who a man works for? Follow the money. Well, you follow the money in American politics. And it doesn't come from you. It doesn't come from average citizens. It comes from corporations, lobbyists, and special interests. I say let's take America back. I need a million families to stand with me. I need a million families to put in 10 or 15 or 20 or 50 or $100. I need a million Americans to stand with me. And let's take our politics back. I had a good job. It's still there. I got a great family. They're still there. I'm not looking for another job. But I'm telling you, I watched America the last 20 years get bought and sold by the special interests. And we ought to take it back. And here's what I want my president to do. I want my president to stand up and defend American workers. I want my president to stand up and defend people who want a decent job. I want my president to stand up and tell China, no, we're taking them back. By the way, you can reach me at BuddyRomer.com, and I know you don't know me yet, but you will. Let me spell Romer for you. R-O-E-M-E-R. BuddyRomer.com. We're going to do this. Watch me. By the way, I had 3% in the last poll. 4% of the people knew me. And 3 out of 4 were voting for me. Watch out, Mitt. Watch out, Rick Perry. You watch out. You give me a foothold in one of these debates, I will tear their britches up. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>